I spent over £50,000 to feel like a failure, and here's how. Hello beautiful people, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I spent £50,000 to feel like a failure. So you might be thinking, Jamie, that is an obscene amount of money. How on earth have you spent £50,000? That is because of the wonderful thing called education. I've just completed four years of university and I've just graduated with an English literature degree. And even though I'm sitting here now, four years later, having finished my degree, having a bachelor's honours in English literature, I should be so, so proud of myself. I should be celebrating but in the back of my mind I feel like a failure and I feel like I've spent £50,000 to feel like a failure. I've spent all of this money every single year on accommodation, on books, on tuition. I've spent all of that money which will become my hard-earned money for what? In my head I'm like I should be celebrating the success, I should be celebrating the achievement but in my head I'm telling myself you didn't do as well as you should have done. I'm constantly comparing myself to other people and I'm telling myself that what I have achieved and the achievement that I have got and the success that I've got is isn't enough. You're always taught that the only people that can succeed are people who do certain degrees, who go to certain universities and who get certain results. It is all based and measured on results. When the final result doesn't add up to what you want it to be or doesn't come out as a result that you want to be, you beat yourself up and you tell yourself that you've failed. You don't take into consideration the journey that you've been on, the hard work that you've done, the dedication, the attitude, the endless nights. It all comes as one package but you forget all of that you forget the journey and the experience it took you to get to where you are and the final result you just see the final result and it all stems from when we're young in education every single year that's in year six to GCSE qualifications to A levels to then university degrees if you're not hitting a certain result if you're not hitting a certain grade then you're deemed a failure you're not going to achieve that success and that's why it's so important to see success as immeasurable and measure it in a variety of different ways because success is not just one objective thing. It's like if you don't achieve a first class degree, you're not successful, you failed. Especially with social media and everyone achieving first, as much as that is so amazing to see, you yourself compare yourself, you see that, oh well I didn't achieve a first degree. And I'm going to be very honest, I didn't achieve a first degree. Even though I worked my butt off and I'm so incredibly proud of the work that I've done and the grade that I've received at the end, I feel like a failure. I feel like I haven't achieved the result that so many others have and I feel like I'm not able to progress the way that everyone else who has got a first has. It makes you feel like oh well all of these people are successful because they hit the top mark but me who didn't hit the top mark I must therefore be a failure. That all stems from the idea of you know qualifications and results meaning more than things like mental health and journey and experience and everything else that goes on around your life whilst you are in education. I've always been told that the only way that I can be successful, the only way that I can get a really good income in life, the only way that I can be happy and have that success and happiness, doing a degree which is worth something, going to university which is valuable. The thing is with the education system there is a hierarchy. This hierarchy is ingrained with us as we grow up and as we go through life and it's all about the system, the education system, the societal system, the grading system. How we all do and our results place us within a certain system, how it allows us to see how we compare against each other and I think it's really toxic of society to bring us up in that way feeling like if we're not constantly in every test in everything that we do we're not achieving the perfect score the best result then we are ultimately going to fail and then when you get to deciding what university to go to and what degree to go to in the back of your mind you're thinking will this degree be valuable I really love media and I really love marketing but when I went to school I always had the impression that media and marketing weren't going to get me very far in life I told myself that if I did media and marketing at university then it would limit my options that I wouldn't have the success and the the income that I actually wanted to achieve if I went to university and studied a subject, a creative subject like drama, media, marketing and that mindset led me to do a degree like English literature which is a little bit more traditional, that is something which allowed me to have options and is valued a lot differently in society. Doing a creative degree is like doing something that is apparently worthless, that is invaluable, that won't lead you to any opportunities outside. I really hate that mentality within society that people have that if you do a degree that is creative or if you are just more of a creative person than academic that you're not going to have the same opportunities and that you're not going to be as fortunate or as successful as people who do science and maths and English literature and more traditional subjects. It's about breaking down that stigma that the only way that you can succeed in life is by going to Russell Group Universities. In the UK, and I know they have something very similar in the US, universities and colleges are ranked. In the back of your head you're thinking, will this 
degree and will this university be beneficial for me in the long term? The university that you go to, the degree that you do, does not measure your success. You can go to any university that you want. Don't let numbers and don't let data and don't let things which people write about online and don't let traditions stop you from doing what you want and what you feel is best because at the end of the day you need to be focusing on you and you need to be focusing on your mental health and doing what's best for you and you will achieve success ultimately by doing that success doesn't come through income it doesn't come through money happiness doesn't come through being successful 100% of the time and I learned that the hard way I pushed myself I broke down my mental health for the sake of getting the best results when I realized that I need to stop caring all the time about my results and stop trying to push myself to achieve the top top grades and be like somebody that I really really wasn't that's when I started to enjoy life and really find the purpose of living, find the joy and the positivity and the optimism and started romanticizing life, which is obviously what I've just done a YouTube video on and I will leave that in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. Don't fill your life with things that you think will lead to success because ultimately, even if you reach that point at the end, you won't feel satisfied and you won't feel proud of yourself because you'll feel like you're not doing it for you. You'll be doing it for the system, society and for other people. And it's so important to measure your success through your journey and through your experience. I'm going to hold my hands up and say I have beaten myself down for not achieving a first in my degree. Nobody else has told me around this, it's just on my back and I don't know why I have that mentality. I don't know why I have that mentality that a 2-1 is a bad result. Actually when I look back at what I've achieved over the last four years, I have learned so much. I have learned so much in my degree, I have learned so much in myself, I have learned so much in other people, the way to live life. That is the most important thing. Look back at how far you've come. See yourself four years ago from the moment you stepped into university as a baby fresher to now. See how far you've progressed and changed in your life. Even if you might not have got the result that you wanted at the end, even though you might not have got the first, the top result, it does not mean that you have not succeeded. At the end of the day, just completing a degree, you should be so proud of yourself. That in itself is a success. You should see that as a success and as an achievement. Getting a 2-1 or getting a first is not going to stop you from receiving opportunities and receiving experience outside of that. A result is not defining you. It's important to remember that you are going to go way further and take yourself further than any result will. The only thing stopping you is you. So once you take out that negative stigma that the only way that you can succeed is by getting the top grade, that's when you'll start to have more fun and see life for all of the wonders and the possibilities and opportunities that is there and lay before you. And finally, remember why you started. Did you start your degree to achieve a first? I don't think you did. I mean, some people might have and that's completely fair. But for me, I started my degree because I was interested in English literature and I knew where I wanted to go with my life. I knew the direction and the path and in order to get to that stage and to kickstart my career, I knew I needed to get a degree. At the end of the day, that's why I started my degree. I didn't start my degree to get the top results. I didn't start my degree to get a first. I started my degree because I was passionate about what I was doing, because I enjoyed it, and because I knew what I needed to do after university. It was all for my career and to kickstart my career in marketing. I've done that and I'm so proud of that. My final marks, my result didn't come into play to getting that. What got me there was me and the attitude and the goals that I set whilst at university. It's so important to remember that, that you are the person who's going to define and to create your endless opportunities, your possibilities and your successes and achievements, not results. If if you take anything away from this video today it's to remember that you have worked incredibly hard to get to where you are and remember that even if traditions or society or the system or even other people tell you that you are unsuccessful that you're a failure you are not a failure look back at how far you've come remember where you're going in the future look back at how much you have achieved so far if you do all of those things you will realize that Failure is not in your vocabulary. The only thing you're gonna be doing is succeeding. And actually, failure isn't a bad thing. It only pushes you and motivates you to move on to the next thing. And if any of you guys felt similar to me or felt this video was helpful or useful, then I'm so glad. Just wanna thank you so much for watching today's video, you guys. If you did enjoy it, then don't forget to smash the like button. And of course, subscribe down below for more Jamie Deer content. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, thank you for watching.